Okay, hi guys. Um, I know you can't see my face, but it's okay. Um, what I'm doing today is I want to fix this pontoon that had a unfortunate incident with a tree. <laughs> um, they usually handle the water fine, but um, had a control issue and ended up uh, in a tree. So anyway, the pontoon's a foam pontoon and uh, on a um, Eagle, 63 inch Eagle, um, Cargilbert Eagle airplane. Or I, I guess it's an Eagle too actually. But anyway, um, I'm going to show you the process that I use to to fix a pontoon. Rather than just gluing the foam back together, that usually doesn't hold that well. So um, I'll show you a way to strengthen it. So I'm going to use a leftover piece of arrow shaft that I have. And so I'm just going to measure this. It's uh, nine inches. So just going to mark it at four and a half so I have the I know where the center is just using a, a felt tip marker that's probably not in the video okay so right there that's my that's my center point so I just have a line on there so that I when I stick it in the foam it I know when half of it's in one side of the foam and half is in the other. And then I've got uh, an electric drill with uh, a long um, a long bit on there. And I've also marked that um, approximately four and a half, maybe five inches. So, so I know how deep to go with the drill. So what I want to do is I want to keep the drill bit parallel, find close to the center, and then just uh, drill in here, and make kind of a mess, but it's a styrofoam, but anyway, my battery died, so I missed part of this video but um, I drilled a hole using this um, electric drill with a long bit. Um, drilled it through this part and then drilled it through the front nose piece. So now I'm going to put some urethane Gorilla Glue um, into the foam and into the holes and in the foam and then I've got a little bit of a uh, spray bottle with some water that this this glue likes to have a little bit of moisture to help it uh, cure better and also it expands better with a little bit of moisture so so here we go let's See if I can get the top off of here.
Okay guys, so it's the next day. Um, so I'm going to take my weights off of here and see how this turned out. So where this urethane glue was, it's it's sticking to the tape pretty good, but looks like it all dried pretty well. Once all this tape's off, I'll just sand it off a little bit, repaint, and we'll be able to put them back on the airplane. foam and then they're um, painted with a um, Mod Podge. Um, it's a foam hardening um, and you, 
you just paint it on and then it, it hardens up the, the foam. And then I was able to paint over top of that. Uh, the other thing I did is I put these pads where the landing gear mount onto the um, to the floats I I cut pieces of plywood um, to that are glued on but they're also holes drilled through and then dowels that attach the plywood and then a dowel that goes most of the way into the foam and that makes the the mounts really strong because otherwise the plywood could just peel off the foam um, during landing or something. Anyway, there we go. Um, all this left really is sanding and then and then repaint. So I probably uh, won't video that whole process. I think everybody knows how to paint. So we'll just end it here. So. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. Thank you very much.